like? What was Mike Tyson like coming up? The sweetheart, the young kid, 13 years old, very shy, very humble, but quiet sometimes. He like sometimes he, I didn't believe he was sick because he was too quiet. But the best kid in boxing, it was then Muhammad Ali and Mike Tyson. Because Mike Tyson, they say he was a bad boy. Even though he haven't given me a penny yet, but I still love him no matter what. Um, How'd you end up working with Mike Tyson when you were a kid? I, put my, I have the Apollo Boxing Club in the, in the Bronx. And Costa Amaro, which was my manager, called me for me to develop his fighters uh, at my gym in the Bronx. But uh, Cos told me that he was going to be a world champion. I told him, I figured out that uh, I, I figured it out that he, that he was, you know, I made a mistake. But I think he never going to be a champ. But when Cos said that he's going to be a champ, he never, he never missed. He's always said he's going to be a champ, he was a champ. And then he was 13 years old, 199 pounds. A 13? A 13, yeah. He looked like a chubby guy like this. Yeah. But he was so nice. He he knocked him out a guy at my gym one time. He knocked him out about 20 something. But one time he knocked him out the guy and he went, he knocked him out in his corner. But he don't have room to go to his corner. What he did was step in the guy's chest to go to his corner. And I declared the fight a draw. Wow. Yeah. What was his training like at that time? What do you mean? The training, you mean? Yeah, with Mike. What was it like? What, what is his training? He training with Costa Maro in Casco. Yeah. And Teddy Alla used to bring it to my, to my, to my gym every Saturday. For six years, he'd been going to my gym. Yeah, and, uh, No problems at all? No problem. One time, according, according, which is true what he said, my gym wasn't... You had to get off in Prosper Avenue. So one time he went downstairs to because I, I, in the front was a, a guy that owned the bar, but the, his son was a fighter in Casket. And, and, and Mike Tyson wanted to quit. Mike Tyson, Mike Tyson wanted to go to, to Brooklyn because he was in New York, you know, in the Bronx. So he wanted to go, he didn't want to fight. But he said, change his mind, he come back. And then he, he, everybody he fight, we in there, he, 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 he knocked him out. Did he ever have any tough scoring matches? We got a tough one, but he always a victory. That guy was good since the beginning. Did he pretty much knock out all the sparring partners when he was younger? Yeah, he was. He was. He was terrible. He, he's like a mule. He, that kid, he learned so fast. And and then when he, he was fat, but he, he developed that body. And then he don't have he don't have compassion for nobody. When he's there with the glove, he don't care for him. You know. Yeah. No, he was. A, he was a good kid. I still love him, but you know, he, 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 he hasn't talked to me, he don't call me. But no matter what, when he comes to New York, he's always, we get together. But Mike Tyson was the best. When's the last time you saw Mike? About a year and a half, maybe a year. When they have a party for, for um, the champion from, from, from England, um, what was the guy named that beat him? Um, the big guy from England. Lennox Lewis. Lennox Lewis. They had a party for Lennox Lewis. I saw him there. Yeah. I love it about a year and a half. Who else did you work with back in those days at your gym? Oh, my gym? Well, I worked with a lot of fighters. I used, I used to have my own fighters. Uh, from Diablito Valdez, I got Carlos Ortiz. I worked with Pini Pacheza. Uh, Buddy oh, I'll be, if I gonna name... Buddy McGirt was trained at your gym as well? No, but I used to work with him as a professional. Buddy McGurk fought my guy in the gym, he lost the first. And I'm actually lost with one of my guys. Julio, Julio was my guy, he been in, in my gym. But, uh, but I worked with, with all those guys, a lot of, a lot of fighters. Henry Shaver, uh, uh, Ray Anderson, all those, those guys. Who was one of the best amateurs you saw around that time? Muhammad Ali. Man. Mark Brillan was good. Mark yeah. Brillan was good. But Muhammad Ali was a, a master. A, a very, he was a very human being than a fighter. Imagine, I was, I was in, in Florida. And I was there with Diablito Valdez, which he's going to fight Aaron Pryor. And then Muhammad was kind of a little fat, you know. And he got a, a, 
a guy named Luis Aria, which he was the one that gave the massage and things like that. And what I saw with uh, with Muhammad, what he did, oh, he broke my heart. There was a big guy there. I said, I don't know why they got that old man giving massage. He could have had me. So Muhammad Ali opened the eyes. And he called Angelo Dondi, Angie, come here. And then he took the big guy and said, yo, I mean, let's go outside. And he told the guy just like that. If I ever see you here once again, I'm going to whoop your ass. See how good he was, the mama? He protected his people that work with him. And then with me, he was, I work in the corners. He used to take, he used to take, throw things in my, and then he changed his back. He was a, he was a home, but he played with everybody. And uh, I have a lot of, a lot of talk with Muhammad. Yeah. What's your fondest memory of Muhammad Ali? Well, that's the, that, that memory, what I told you, that one was the biggest that one. one. And another one in Cleveland. He young. In Cleveland. Why are you money, Nelson? Oh, the lady? Yeah. Yeah, Fando. Fando. Hey. My money, because well, I... Well, Lannister could... always pays his debts. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So, so what happened? I was uh, in Cleveland, and he's supposed to come to New York, and from New York to Newark. But I never bothered Muhammad. And, uh, and I told him, Muhammad, anybody that, that go to New York, everybody know you, they take you there for free. Now he said to me, oh, now you're talking to me? You never talk to me? So he told but then he come here, Nelson talking to me now. So now I told him, Muhammad, I don't like to bother you, you always was busy. But, hey, but then take a look, I'm always busy. But after that, I used to be with them. Because I, when I went, Ernie Chavez came here to fight uh, 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 the guy named Gary Wardy. So I was with all of them. Don King, uh, that Ernie Chavez, Jeff Murray, Larry Holmes, all those guys. I was the smaller one in them, you know, in the bus, in the session wagon. So, and Muhammad used to go, together to, to the Glacier because Bondini Brown used to live in 145th Street. I, I I'm from 145th, from 145th, you went out to 149th in the Bronx. 